Where are we going? We are headed to the Whiskey Throttle Compound to pick up a project that we've been working on. Um, some of you know what it is, some of you don't. This will be the start to our YouTube channel. And we're gonna bring it back to Dustin's house so that me and him can get some electrical work done and start, what do you wanna call it? Um, project. If you know, you know. If you don't, stay tuned. <laughs> we'll be there in about 20 minutes to grab it. And yeah, we'll cut there. Stay tuned. Be right back. Cool. We there yet? We're here. We're pulling into Whiskey Throttle Compound. We're here. Here is our newest project. <laughs> Look at that butte. She is B E A beautiful. I don't know about that. Well, not yet. This she is will our be. newest short bus. You guys will become familiar with this. It's going to be a big part of our uh, YouTube channel and a big part of everything we do now. So we're going to take it to Dustin's house. Be fun. And get started on it. Stay tuned for updates. So here's the short bus. Um, this is right after we picked it up. Clint and I are heading to a local metal junkyard to see if we can find some metal. Because as you can see, there's literally no floor. We are staring at the road. Look at this beautiful thing. It's gonna be fun. That'll change. Windows are so clear, you can look right, right through them. We've done a little work to her. She needs uh, a lot of work though. Missing a few windows. Got some custom corrugated metal for that window. We'll make it work. This is our secret latch. Don't tell anybody. Shh. That's how we get into this thing. Okay. Let's we'll start her up. Got a few supplies in here. We run to the house getting her all situated. One thing we're trying to figure out is this dash. This dash is ugly. Um, we're trying to figure out what we want to do with it. So if you have any suggestions, ideas, comments, comment below, let us know, because uh, this thing needs a little bit of work. But we're gonna sneak in this driver's seat here, start up the old girl. Lucky for us, this thing has an old 7.3 power stroke in it. So she'll be able to tow whatever we want. Hopefully she starts. Freaking classic power strokes. You know what? This will decimate all after. You put about 15 grand in it or more if we have to overnight parts from Japan. We'll let her warm up a little bit. Cannot mistake the sound of a 7.3. We'll let her warm up a little bit and we'll be on the way to my house. Apparently we gotta fix the uh, door actuators because the, uh, the doors keep opening and closing. <laughs> That's all right. So we're almost there. Um, took the back roads, took us a few, few extra minutes, but it was worth it. She runs good. Um, pretty excited about this short bus build. Pretty excited what we're gonna do with this thing. Uh, maybe asking for some, uh, for some, for some comments and, and opinions as we as we get through this build. So uh, stay engaged, stay with us throughout this because we're, uh, we're excited to see how this thing turns out and how we're gonna use it. Help us out. We're pretty excited about this YouTube channel. Um, you know, we had multiple people approach us and ask us 
Hey, you guys, you guys have YouTube or have you started or are you going to? So, it's one of our goals this 20, coming up for this 2024 20, year is to start a YouTube channel along with a couple other things that you'll see uh, some comments and some, uh, some announcements coming through. We're really going to try and change uh, a couple of big things, especially here in, in the Utah market for the side-by-side the -side community. So, stay involved, stay engaged, uh, subscribe if you want to, like if you want to. But uh, we're doing what we can to really just try and push this sport to the next level here in Utah. But we're getting ready to pull to our house, pull up to my house, pull up to the shop, and we'll get we'll get working on this thing. We're here. But the build start. Oh, if I can get out of here. Here we go. Alright, progress to be made. Colt, what are we working on? Well, we're in a little slow, the podcast bus. This will be a mobile podcast room. Um, we've just finished all the electrical, well, not all of it, but we've finished running electrical line, or electrical wires through the walls. <clears throat> we've got 120 all the way down. We're gonna have 12 volt, basically wherever you see 120. There's gonna be some, a 120 and 12 volt up, 12 volt up here for uh, GoPros in each corner. And then we're gonna have a 120 volt in the floor and probably a 12 volt in the floor as well underneath the table for any of the, the uh, things we gotta plug in for the podcast. Mics yeah, we're gonna do mics and all yeah. that stuff. So. We'll do a, like a big permanent table right in the middle. Yeah. It's we sit around big, them. Fit at least, you know, maybe what, six people? Six, yeah. Four and two. Six comfortably in. And, and uh, yeah, we'll have some cool lighting in here. We haven't decided if we want to do old school bar type lighting, yellowish, or if we want to do bright white. So maybe if you guys, if this comes out before we get to that point, you guys can vote on it. But yeah, it's coming along. We've got all the insulation in. Um, after we put the walls on, I think we are going to do a foam insulation it's like a sound deadening yeah stuff. it's like a sound deadening foam that you can put on the walls we'll do all that so it sounds super awesome in here and there's no echoing um up here will be our batteries and all of our control units we'll have solar on the roof and it'll also be able to be plugged into our generators just like our other buses yeah there's some other cool things that we're going to do but that'll be a later later video so It'll be the Whiskey Throttle Podcast Bus. Hey, yeah. Gonna be dope. Doubles is a scraper. <laughs> <laughs> Too much whiskey. Ooh, not enough throttle. Yeah. Don. confident we've had probably too much whiskey to be using power tools but here we are <laughs> uh, 
we are making some good progress. We got most of 110, the double um, wiring done. There's that random piece in the back that's cutting out, so we don't really need that. Cut first, ask questions later, eh? You ask questions? I think we just cut. But most of this stuff's done, ran for the most part. Got this piece in the floor. Move a little feet up towards the, the actual table. So, to the ground there. So we'll run that wire next. Yeah, well, after Colton's cut, oh, no. done cutting that piece out. Oh no. He says, oh no. What are we owe no on? I don't think that's as easy as I thought. Determined. I'm gonna keep eating my chips. Pretty sure the wires there don't matter, right? We've done worse things. Oh, yeah. It's just wiring. I'm gonna go fix it. It's a splice. All right. Well, we'll keep updated on this process. I'll call you from there. Yeah, the hammers. All right. End of day one. Um, Colt just barely left. I'm um, just cleaning up now. Got a lot of the electrical ran, uh, most 12 volt and 110 is ran. We started cutting out plywood sheets for the walls, just kind of preliminary sitting there. We haven't really screwed them down at all, but it's getting there. Got quite the mess to clean up now, but we should have, well, the wiring at least ran. We're gonna do the main battery box and power center up here. So that's where all the wires ran for the, for the moment. But uh, yeah, she's getting there. Good day, good progress. Um, stay tuned for for the rest of the build and day two. So I'll be back tomorrow morning getting getting out of after it and we'll keep you updated. See you guys. Yeah, that'll work. Right. Who needs a measuring tape? Make a half ass template. <laughs> yeah. I'll eyeball it. Fishing some wires. I should tape that stuff down there. Oh yeah. I'm grab some tape. Where's the tape at? <clears throat> there it is. Alright, well, day two. Still having fun. We've got a bunch of USB A and USB C ports coming. So we can charge GoPros and whatever we need to. So they should be here hopefully tonight. We're just running wires with preliminary positioning. And at that point we should be able to actually attach these walls and start doing a little bit of finish work in the lower half. We'll start working on the upper half, getting uh, getting walls and, and wood up there and start mounting the rest of the boxes in these top left corner, top left and right corners in the back. And yeah, hopefully it starts coming together. Which way is so which? Okay, so we're at 90. Here. Oh, so you gotta make that cut. Yeah, so you gotta make the okay. cut for the length. The... So is this gonna be... It's gonna be like this? Yeah. Okay. 
Right yep, ready? ready? All right, let me steal this for just a second. Make my line, I'll cut it. Pull up inside this back just a little bit yeah. towards you. Here we go. Heads up. Yep. Cut this way you're measuring. We're getting there. Colt soon some wiring back here in the corner. Got the 110 and the 12 volt almost set. Back pieces on, installed. We got this stuff pulled through the wall. Still have some fasteners to do, but it's 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 on there. Pretty strong. Not too bad for a day and a half worth of work. Lower walls are on. Upper walls are getting close. We just have this back piece here to finish, but in the front, obviously, we still have a lot of work to do there, but we're still making plans for that. This wall's pretty much done. So we're getting there. Good progress. What do you think, Colt? It's going good. It's a lot of work. Yep. <laughs> yeah, these, uh, these 12 volt plugs we got are pretty cool. They're, uh, pretty clean they got a power button here power button turns them on and off this just this uh flips down and see flips up then we got USB A and USB C there that we'll have to run stuff off of and charge and so then just normal 110 but we're getting there got some of the wire around up front got some more plans to make up here but she's getting there all right guys, so that is uh, that's end of day two. We're gonna cut this first video from there. Uh, I've got most of the wiring pre-ran. Uh, we have a lot of the wall boards on. We just have a few extra sheets over here. We gotta cut and, and get measured for the front and a couple of small spots for the back. Um, but again, day one, or I guess day two is finished. We're gonna call it good there. And then um, we'll keep you updated. The next video is gonna focus on um, replacing the rear windows, or actually creating new windows because there's nothing there to replace. Um, and then probably continue with electrical a little bit. And then at some point we'll get it back over the shop because we need to start working on um, more stuff for the walls, finishing up that front wall and kind of reconvening with the rest of the team and making a couple decisions we need to do. So again, thanks again for tuning in, for watching. Um, like, subscribe if you want and follow along with us on this journey we're excited uh we're excited you're here with us so thanks again take care